Hello to my wonderful earth signs and welcome to your weekly reading. This video is for you if you have a sun, moon, or ascending in Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. First of all, I just want to wish everyone a happy winter solstice. We are celebrating the equality of light and dark on the 21st this week. And with that, may you be blessed with balance and harmony in all things this season. Let's get started here. I'm just asking for your angels, guides, guardians, ancestors, God and goddess to give us clarity and comfort and information for those of you who have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo in your main chart. What do we need to know this week for my earth signs? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I love this card actually because I love the cat. Um, you know, a lot of people think that black cats are bad luck. If you if one crosses your path or, you know, if, if one's around, but actually nothing could be further from the truth. Um, black cats and all animals bring blessings. And so this is a, 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 a week where you are being wished uh, good luck by the elements, by your angels. And perhaps you'll even see something come about this week that um, you just think, wow, that was really lucky. That was a really lucky chance, or I was in the right place at the right time. A synchronistic blessing of some sort this week. So um, this is a, a very good card. It really talks about the week being, um, you know, quite prosperous, uh, maybe a happy surprise of some sort. So let's see what that means specifically for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn. Taurus and Virgo. All right, Capricorn, you've got the Ten of Water. What a wonderful card. <laughs> this is such a great week. The Ten of Water, the card says emotional fulfillment, peace, happy family, happy family, and relationship harmony. I just feel like this is this is a week where you are going to feel very fulfilled. Uh, things working out. Uh, things you know that you've been worried about. Worry no more is what I'm hearing. Um, the, the picture on the card reminds me of that song, uh, Castles in the Sand, you know, we're just building castles and, and it's just a very happy, happy go lucky week. Uh, I don't see any red flags or speed bumps and, and things really becoming more smooth. Uh, what's, what's funny too, I've never see, felt this about this particular card, but with the sand castle, it's almost like maybe there's a hidden treasure, uh, when it comes to home, family, relationships. Something that uh, you weren't expecting that just kind of comes out for you. Um, yeah, something wonderful and out of the unexpected, maybe a, a gift or a present uh, from a, a person or even from the universe that you just think, wow, I, you know, look around your life, right? And just acknowledge I'm, I am so lucky and fortunate to have what I have to have, um, you know, acquired the, the lessons and the wisdom and, and the love that I have in my life now. So it's beautiful. It's, it's actually a beautiful week for you, Capricorn Taurus. You've got the page of air. So uh, we have a conversation happening this week that provides a lot of clarity. Now the page of air can talk about the fact that this might be a kind of a clunky uh, conversation. And what I mean by that is maybe the conversation starts and, and uh, someone's a little bit uh, uncouth, you know what I mean? Um, a little bit uh, saying things with maybe an edge, right? So I really want to say here, if this happens, if it's you or someone else, just go right into forgiveness. I think that this is somebody speaking their truth and doing it in kind of a, yeah, like a sharp way. But I, I think that the point is to listen with your heart open and to try to understand the message and to try to repeat back to them what you heard so that they can, so that you can get clear. So it, it does feel like a little clunky in communications this week. And the advice and guidance here is just to keep your heart open and try to understand what they're trying to say. And same thing with you. You know, sometimes when we're the ones that are kind of just not very articulate, you know, we can say, I, I don't know if this is really coming across very clear and try again. Um, but it's an honest and blunt conversation, one where if you can get through the delivery of it, there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of clarity in, involved in this. And so it's a, it's, it's a conversation that needs to happen. Now, the other thing is that this could be uh, clunky because maybe um, this conversation is happening over text or over messaging and it really should just be in person. So if you find that that's happening, if you're like, uh, enough, enough messaging, we need to actually talk, like 
Remember when our phones used to call people? <laughs> you may need to call this person or get together with them or just hold off until you see them again before the conversation continues, okay? A lot of, com a lot of advice there when it comes to some conversation and just communication in general. So be careful with your communication this uh, week. Um, let's see how that um, applies to the good luck card. Uh, you, some of you might be getting a message this week that lights you up. So it, it could go the other way, right? Where there's an honest uh, communication, an email, a letter, or something that just really lights you up and you're like, yay, I'm so glad that this came. Especially if you're someone who's waiting for, uh, for a message, if you're waiting to hear back from something or someone, I think it's good news that comes to your door or to your email, to your ear. Um, so look forward to that. Virgo, you've got the two of water. Wow, that's my soulmate card. So good stuff when it comes to relationships. You're lucky in love. If you're single, you're obviously going to run into somebody. It's a synchronistic event, being at the right place at the right time, somebody setting you up with the right person. If you are in a relationship, then this is you really getting lucky. It's, it's feeling lucky. It's feeling like this is the person I'm going to be with. Um, you or this person might be the other person's good charm, you know, good luck charm. This relationship, is if you are in a relationship, it's going to continue to grow. There's a resolution to conflicts here. There's a lot of romance in the air for you, Virgo. Uh, yeah, you're going to get lucky. <laughs> if you are single, it really is a great week to um, visualize, to put yourself out there, to, um, yeah, go out. You might run into someone. You know, like this is serendipitous here. The good luck and the two of water. If you're single, um this is you just like running into someone and it being kind of like a rom-com, right? Like just super cute, super happy, super lucky. And again, if you're in a relationship, I just feel like you're, um, you're, you're coming along. So if you guys have not been getting along, I think you definitely will this week. There's a resolution to some conflicts, a, a closeness that you're going to feel with your significant other. Now with all relationships too, I think that, um, you know, looking around and just seeing how lucky you are to be surrounded by people who love and support and care for you. For all of my um, earth signs here, it, it is a lucky week for you. Um, expect the unexpected. Expect a gift, a happy surprise, a happy um, message coming through, uh, a happy turn of events when it comes to your love life. It's, it's a really great week. So um, happy solstice again. And uh, as I always say, I'm sending you so much love and light and everything right. Angel blessings.